conquer first conditional sentences. No more verb tense mistakes. Hello, English learners. Today, we are going to tackle an important topic within grammar fundamentals, first conditional sentences, specifically the subsection, incorrect use of verb tenses. Our aim is to help you eliminate these common mistakes and improve your English language skills. First conditional sentences are used to express situations based on true conditions or likely events. These are real-life situations that could happen at present or in the future. A first conditional sentence consists of two parts, the if clause and the main clause. The structure is usually if plus present simple tense will plus base form of the verb. For example, if it rains, we will stay at home. In this sentence, if it rains is the if clause and we will stay at home is the main clause. Now, let's focus on some of the common mistakes learners often make when using verb tenses in first conditional sentences. Mistake 1. Using will in the if clause. The first common mistake is using will in the if clause. For example, some learners might say, if it will rain, we will stay at home. This is incorrect. Remember, the correct form is, if it rains, we will stay at home. Mistake 2. Using past simple in the main clause. The second common mistake is using the past simple tense in the main clause. For example, if it rains, we stayed at home. This is incorrect as the main clause should express a future action or state. The correct form should be, if it rains, we will stay at home. To avoid these common mistakes, practice is key. Try creating your own sentences following the correct structure. Remember, if plus present simple tense will plus base form of the verb, with consistent practice, the correct usage of verb tenses in first conditional sentences will become second nature. That's it for today's lesson on first conditional sentences. We hope this video helps you understand the common mistakes and how to avoid them. Keep practicing and remember, everyone makes mistakes while learning. It's part of the process. So, don't worry. Keep learning, and you'll master English grammar in no time. See you in the next video.